Welcome back. I'm just in a random car park right now. So we're gonna change that. I thought I'd just film a few days of kind of what I actually get up to. Cause I've been in Saint Tropez for a few days. It was very nice, spent up with a friend, drank some iced coffees, but I did end up parking like on the side of this road for three days straight. And these lorries just kept waking me up at like six in the morning. Cause I've gone like 50 miles an hour past my van and I was like on the road, which was, actually very scary <laughs> and it's something i've actually got used to but every time i start talking about something i've got used to in the van i'm like that's a bit dangerous anyway let's go and have some fun today i found a cool parking space pretty sure i'm not going to be able to park there but we'll try there's a few things i've got to do have a look around don't really know pretty much the usual but yes, um, I'm excited to have you here, and I'm gonna do like a like a like a vlog, like a like a vlog. I don't know why that seems like a new term to me. I literally cannot believe it's so sunny this morning. It was raining uh, almost, and the clouds were just oh, it's very depressing. But that has changed, and I'm very happy about it. <laughs> I'm just gonna empty my toilet and maybe fill up on water. Classic van life shit. So, um, let's do that. I hope you like my outfit, by the way. 1960s vibes. Sorry, I don't know how to use it. Okay, apparently you can only use the water until 12 p.m. Okay, <laughs> the rest of the week it's open until 4, but today it's closed. Why? Okay, fine, I'll just go without water, it's fine, I'll just die, whatever. I can still empty my toilet though, so life's good. This is not a good outfit to do with it, and I don't know why I just did I don't want to get changed though, so we're just going to have to roll with it. Okay, done. We also have a bit. Alright, let's go. Okay, shit, we'll be so much here. Yeah, they're in the back. Okay, now that is... <laughs> That delight is over. We need to go to the store and buy buy some stuff before we head to the beach where I'm hoping there's gonna be a parking space. But we know how that turns out. Honestly, living in a van is quite funny um, because doing normal stuff takes so much longer. Like imagine just living in a house and having to go and empty your toilet like every time, every two days or three days. And then you have to always find a new supermarket every time you want to buy something because you're in a new place and you don't know where it is. It does get wearing, honestly, it does. Yeah, it's, it's maybe something that you don't think about so much when you're like watching van life, but honestly, just like the chore of being alive is like 600 times harder when living in a van. It's great, really. <laughs> but look what I get to do, so. That's actually such a weird lifestyle. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more I'm like, bro, what are you doing? But I, I love it. I say that doing chores is annoying, but in the south of France, honestly, I'm happy doing anything. They could make life so hard, and I'd still write a thank you letter to the mayor. It's just so great here. Life's just easier. Nothing seems so dramatic anymore when you're here. I think it's the sun, to be honest. <laughs> and the pink houses, not the small roads. Or the speed bumps, though. Okay, going into the shop. Ouch. Toilet paper, that's what I needed, okay. Cushioned. 
Okay, I just bought the weirdest amount of stuff. Like, I bought hangers, mango chutney, pop it on. Pretty successful food shop, in other words. All right, I wanna go to this beach. Let's do it. Jesus, it's sunny, man. a little scared to park here I don't know what it is I thought it was a restaurant not entirely sure <laughs> sorry that just caught my eye uh, oh shit this is so cool I'm so gonna get kicked out of here but we can give it a go <laughs> look at this awesome okay are you ready I think the sunset is going to be amazing. This is... This is why I live in a van. <laughs> The sun's setting, okay, let's watch it. Okay, let me get my stuff. <laughs> Okay, just finished watching the sun set and I come in here and I'm like, right, I'm going to make dinner, right? So I went to put the pan on and it was going okay, but now the gas has run out. <laughs> Propane bottle is finished and I was like, why? Because my other one lasted six months and I replaced this one what like two and a half months ago I've realized it's because I've been having to use the hob instead of my heater because my heater's melted <laughs> and now I don't have that either part of me wants to go get a new one but it's just dark and windy and I don't really want to do that it's also Friday the 13th which I just figured out so vibes are low right now. I just don't want to go 
and replace the gas bottle. I just for some reason really don't want to do it right now. But I don't have any way to make food. So that's great. Uh, I might just move, which really sucks because I like this place, but... Oh, damn it! <laughs> Oh, and to top it off, it's actually slightly cold right now. I don't know what happened, but it's just getting cold, so... Okay, I'm gonna drive somewhere. It looks so amazing. I don't even know where I'm going. I just really want gas, otherwise I can't have coffee or anything or food and I don't have any food other than carrots. I just don't know whether to get gas now or not. Thing is, whenever I have the slightest minor inconvenience in life, my solution now is just to drive to a new place. Even if the problem's in the van, drive to a new place. It's never solved the problem, but I still think it's a great solution. So, moral of the story is always run away from your problems. Van life, ladies and gentlemen. Why do you build me up? I got baby. Honestly, someone just come and help me. Just come through the screen. I'm dragging you into my life, into this seat right here with Jerome, the purge mask, and just, just help me. Okay, they have gas here, but I don't think it's open, so I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow, I think. Okay, probably just gonna stay in this car park and then wait to get the gas tomorrow because the place is just there plus there's a supermarket so <sighs> I don't want to go replace the gas that is why I have slept until 11 a.m. sad I just want to make my coffee <laughs> okay let's just get dressed it's fine it's literally fine I'm fine but life fine I need to go get the gas which I'm really not excited about really not but anyway let's just get on with the day and just ignore the fact that my stove doesn't work I get sadder every time I do it Okay, heading to McDonald's because there is going to be coffee there. Thank the Lord from heaven above. Why is it so hot? Why would they do that? I want to drink it now. Can't really feel my tongue. Anyway, now I need to go get gas. I've genuinely been stalling the whole day because I don't want to do it. Um, it's not even anything that dramatic, but you know when it's just like... Switch it off. Uh, and these are like all the bottles that I need. You have to make sure to get the right one because there's like 10 different propane ones, but this is the same as my one. So it doesn't actually have the keys for it, which is really useful. <laughs> I just took it out. Why does he not have the keys for it? Okay, I'm gonna find somewhere else. Come here. Okay, where else can I go? I don't know if that was where I wanted to go. Bingo! Okay, she's just getting me another bottle, which is really sweet, actually. She was so sweet. She literally put the gas bottle in my van for me. That was such a nice thing to do. 
Oh my god, thank god I got a new one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. I was low-key thinking of staying in a campsite, but I don't know if any of them are open. Because I want to wash my hair and I want to shower. And there's not many places to park around here. Okay, I'm gonna go find this place on the side of the road. It will do for now. I was never cut out for brown food. Oh, they were so nice and I literally cannot get over it. Seems like an alright parking space. Let's go and explore the Port Beach area. I'm quite excited. She just wants to go out. She's very bored. So, we're gonna go to the beach. Look how cute all these little houses are. I think over there is like a huge gated community when there's like thousands of houses. It's really cool. Oh, it's such a beautiful time of night or evening to come here because the sea looks so amazing against the sky. There's almost no difference apart from a little line. It's so peaceful. It's like, uh, it's really tropical here. Look at all the trees. It's quite strange because the rest of like Saint Tropez isn't like this. It's really nice. That is so peaceful. Let me show you. Perfect. Okay, bye. And we are back. Okay, let's just put my gas bottle on. I've never put this on a bloody bustle before. Get off. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so I just went to this Thai place. There was like a security guard down there. And I know it's for like this whole enclosed village thing. You have to like, it's like gated entry, but I'm still just like parked right opposite it. Like, don't see me. Even though there's definitely light coming out my windows. I bought this pork bun. And then there's like some chicken, so awesome. No, mm. it's nice, not the best, but nice. And then this GG actually just took some of this off my plate before I even tried it. Mm. Very nice. I mean, I'm gonna finish this and probably go to sleep early because I'm so exhausted today. See what tomorrow brings. I really need to wash my hair. Look at it. Not good, but I really CBA right now. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.
Good morning. Oh god, I can finally make a coffee. Thank the freaking lord, man. Oh, woo! We have gas. And we're back in business, you know? my outfit wait you can't see the boots hold up this is very exciting okay let's go to visit the town because um nothing's gonna be open but it's Sunday nothing's gonna be open but it looks very nice and it's such a nice day so come with me come with me okay let's go let's go let's go explore Bye, Gloria. right I need to figure out how to get in here because I'm not entirely sure it's like gated off Try it. It is so beautiful here. It's like all gated off, and it's like this big community, Port Grimo. And um, Gigi, <laughs> go away. She's over there. Gigi, shit, fuck. Gigi, Gigi. Gigi! Treat! Shit. Gigi! Oh my god, you scared me! Why are you down there? Come on, try it. Right, don't really know what's happened, but my windscreen's like cracked. It's had a little one for a while, but it was fine. It just, it's just gone like. This is really not ideal. Because now I need to go get the whole thing replaced. We're driving to San Maxime, 30 minutes away, to a campsite called Au Paradis de Camper. I don't know why I needed to make that so dramatic. All right, I'm gonna see if there's like one of those car glass places in the way. The only thing is, it's a heated windscreen, so I don't know if that's different. Also, this is a really bad camera angle. No. 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 Okay. Let's just go. You may be king, you may put Okay, I think this is the campsite. It looks pretty cute. Um, I like the cacti. I hope they have space because it looks really cute. <laughs> oh my god. It is three o'clock. Shit. Why? <laughs> Why? I wanted to park there. I don't understand these time restrictions on everything. Oh my gosh, that is so annoying. The gates are open, so I'm thinking just drive in anyway. <laughs> This feels illegal as shit. But I'll just go to reception tomorrow morning and be like, yo bro, I park here. Ah, oh, God. Seems good to me. Oh shit, there's storage container houses. <gasps> Perfect. Okay, the showers and everything is shut. Look at the inside. They cannot be charging this much a night. Doesn't even have showers. Right, screw this, I'm out of here. The audacity to call themselves a four-star campsite is unfriggin' believable. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that just let me out. Okay, so I'm actually just realized there's one here. Okay, so I wanna try this one. I've complimented on my parking, so pretty pleased with that to be honest. At least they have space. My pineapple just <laughs> fell off the van. Oh my god. It's a people. It's a people, you don't like people. We can get a big doggy. 
Gigi's a big dog, he doesn't like you. Sorry. Uh, I think I'm going to fill the water up, then shower, and I might see if I can charge my batteries up because I that's partially one of the reasons why I never stayed at campsites is because it was just kind of not really worth it because like you know I had those jerry cans which were pretty small so it didn't make sense to pay to fill them up because I could just get water from the side of the road and same as a camping spot I'd just end up paying like 40 euros just to park in a space because I didn't use the electric either so it didn't make sense but now I have a bigger water system more batteries and um less available spaces to park because nobody likes camping vehicles near beaches i don't know why not even in january so yeah i'm gonna go fill everything up and the showers actually look okay so all right let's get you that okay just went in the back tried to connect it all up it took about an hour then once I finally got everything out of the way, because I've never done it before and it's like a complicated system to hook it up, this van to the electricity, because I didn't really make it a feature on the van when I was making it, because I was like, I'm not going to stay at campsites. Um, so now I am, and I got my new batteries and I tried to connect it all up, unscrewed everything, got everything in place, and then the adapter on the battery charger I got sent is French, and my extension lead is English and I do not have the connector. So after a few shit fits, I decided that I was gonna come back in the van and just go and have a shower and carry stas the shit out of my hair so it doesn't feel like hay anymore. And the real cherry on top is, I took an extension cable out of my inverter to see if it would fit my cables. It didn't and I forgot to put it back in. So now I can't charge anything in here without going through the whole back of the van again and it is dark outside and I'm pretty sure everybody hates me for opening and shutting doors. However, may I say that the campsite guy came along, he asked me if tomorrow if I wanted to be bought a pan au chocolat or a croissant, I was like bitch please. Anyway, so thanks for joining me on the last few days. It has been actually really weird. <laughs> really weird. I need to get my windscreen fixed. That is tomorrow's job. And now I'm gonna go shower and then maybe I'll make comfy duck for dinner because that's the thing I like now. So I'm so tired. Fan life takes it out of you. Whoa! Okay, I will see you next Friday. <laughs> I'm so slow. Right, bye.